Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to look at ways to fix the OpenCL.dll error in Windows 10. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so you've started up your computer and you get the message from Windows saying that OpenCL.dll is missing or corrupted. Now, there's many reasons why this can happen. Quite often it is where you've had two graphics card drivers installed, maybe perhaps an NVIDIA driver and an AMD driver, and you're keeping the AMD card or you're removing the AMD card, and you've uninstalled the NVIDIA driver setup, and for some reason it's removed the OpenCL.dll file. Now this isn't completely uncommon, it does happen with a lot of applications, and if you're doing a lot of benchmarking or swapping out graphics cards, etc, etc, this is quite possible that it can happen. So, how do you fix it? Well, an easy way of fixing it is actually in your computer already. Now, the OpenCL.dll file normally resides in the C drive in Windows System 32. So, if you have a quick look in there, you may find it's actually in there. But if for some reason it isn't, if you type in the search for OpenCL.dll in the top window in the search bar, you'll actually find there is a duplicate copy hiding in your driver repository. So what you can do is find that, right click on it, choose copy, go back to Windows System 32, click paste, restart the computer, and you should be good to go. Now alternatively, if that doesn't work and you haven't got one in your driver repository, you can head over to our Discord channel and go to the PC help section, click on the pin section, and there is a file I've downloaded and put there for you to use. So you can download that to your desktop and copy and paste it into your Windows System 32 directory. Hopefully after you've done this, restarted the computer, you should be absolutely fine. Now another alternative way of doing this, if you don't want to go through those ways, is to simply reinstall your graphics card driver. If you reinstall the AMD Radeon drivers or the Nvidia drivers, you will find that the OpenCL file will magically reappear in the System32 folder after a reboot. So there you go, there's some possible fixes and help for problems with your OpenCL.dll file. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.